will um, will do that for you. And then hands is is I think refers to helping each other, getting involved in the community, um, taking part in externships and service learning projects, and really. Uh, expanding your horizon above what where you've grown up into more of a um, hands-on kind of learning approach and working with others. You know, employers always tell us that they want students who are able to work in groups as well as work individually. So we do a lot of that here at Hood. Um, there's a second saying that we have at Hood and that is Hood is home. Have you ever heard that? saying hood is home shake your hand or raise your little hands if uh, there's a one look at noah's little hand just kind of comes up you can barely see his eyes okay so hood is home um hood is a lovely um place uh it is we have you know a really good faculty to student ratio um you will get to know your professors look if you want to go to a big college where no one knows your name and you can just be kind of a number and do your thing that's not for Hood College. Um, I have been known a time or two to perhaps call a student who has overslept from my class one too many times. Usually what I will do is um, I will have another student who have them on FaceTime um, and I will say, hey, FaceTime so-and-so. Um, I think they're still in their room. We'll FaceTime them. And then I take the phone and imagine my face being the first thing you see when you wake up. And I'm like, get to class. So um, it's a dis if it's it's a different method, but um, but I I've been known to do that a time or two um, because you have to attend class and participate in order to um, really get the full value of an education, and all of you know that as high schoolers, um, and as and as seniors who are going into college. So um, you may ask yourself as an accepted student, okay, I have a couple colleges I'm thinking of, and and I think at this at this time you have to think about why hood, okay? And so I hope that I can explain to you why hood. First off, um, your classes are being taught by, you know, um, scholars in their field. I'm a practicing attorney still. Um, I was a trial attorney. I was a former prosecutor. Um, there's not too many police officers around here that, that weren't, I haven't taught them in their academy. Um, so I have connections. Um, my our program law and cj program we have a little bit of a different approach when it comes to um teaching our students teaching you what criminal justice is um to me is the fun and the easy part but my also my job is to help you get a job so you'll see that as um your professors at hood we really um call our contacts and we really try to help you get a job because we all want to become gainfully employed and you know live a great and happy and healthy and you know prosperous life. So that is something that I think sets us apart. Um, and as a, an attorney in town, I you know I know a lot of the attorneys and the judges and that sort of thing. So in terms of and, and the police agencies. So in terms of getting you an internship and getting you a job, that is something that I think that sets us apart from other colleges. Um, why Hood? Because at Hood, and I, I say this to all my students, we're a full service salon. Again, teaching you this stuff, that's, that's the easy part, as far as I'm concerned. But I, we care about you as a person. So, you know, so like I said, if you miss my class a couple times, I'm going to be worried about you. Even if my class has 30 students in it, I'm still going to be worried about where you are. Missing it once, it happens. But missing it twice and that sort of thing, I want to check in. How you doing? What's going on? Um, you know, if, if you're not doing well and I see you around campus, I want to know. My door, my door is always open and I want you to stop by. Um, there's always students in and out of my office. I do have candy. Um, in my office, um, and a, student, a lot of students come by and take some candy. Um, are you guys familiar with the freshman 15? What's the freshman 15? The weight that you gain. <laughs> when? When? Your freshman year of college. Right. Okay. Well, now it, it, it's a saying. It's not just at Hood. So don't say, I'm not going to go to Hood. I'll get fat. Or, no, 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 no. Okay. It's every college they say that the freshmen gain 15. Well, you've heard of the freshman 15. I'm telling you all, Professor Bean has the COVID 19. I had Doritos yesterday for breakfast. <laughs> I know that's not right, but I did. And now I'm paying for it. So, in any event, <laughs> um, you know, so, so sometimes we kid in class, but the other thing about Hood is our placement and where we're located uh, and, and our connections. So 
every class we have police officers coming to class you may have a judge in class tonight and a lot of times when you're dealing with professionals you have to kind of do it on their time frame so sometimes i'll have the police set up to come in and do a drug demonstration and then they get called out to go do something but they'll come the next class so um so in a lot of our law and criminal justice classes you'll have attorneys there you'll have um judges come in you'll have um police officers and um, sexual assault counselors. I mean, we have tons of people that come in. But more importantly, um, have you all seen our courtroom? Raise your hand if you've seen the courtroom. Okay, pretty neat, huh? Okay, so you know that most of your legal classes will be held in the courtroom, okay? And it's not just as the classes are held in the courtroom, you are going to be up and doing. Listen, if you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a police officer, um, in corrections, juvenile justice, probations, the court system, you have to be able to speak, think um, on your feet and respectfully. And that's one of the things that I really think the courtroom does. So in any given night, in any given class, if we're arguing a case or we're arguing an issue, I might say to my students, I need six judges to get up there. So six judges will get up on the bench. And then I'll say, okay, I need two defense attorneys. I need two prosecutors and they'll come up. And then I'll usually get some student, I need someone to be the poor defendant. And so usually some student in class will you know, be the defendant or whatever. And so, and sometimes we'll pull a jury in. So every class that you have that's law or CJ related, you're going to be doing things. And listen, it is going to help you. There's a method to our madness. It's gonna help you as a lawyer. I cannot tell you how many law schools ask my students, where did you go to undergrad? Because our students are prepared. They're used to being in a courtroom. Um, we do moot courts um, in some of our upper level um, constitutional law and civil liberties classes, gender in the law, they'll do, um, their end project is usually a, a, a mock Supreme Court. So you might be assigned to do, uh, uh, to be an attorney in front of the Supreme Court, you might be assigned to be one of the justices. And then we we have the arguments just like real life. So um, we, you know, we wear the robes, we, we treat it with the reverence that it deserves. So um, all of that will help you in the long run, whether it's even if you learn how to argue um, respectfully, because as you all know, um, not everybody agrees with us. Doesn't that stink that not everybody thinks the way you do? Boy. I could rule the world if everybody thought like me, but I'm telling you, we're not going to have Doritos for breakfast. I'm in the mood for some Pringles. <laughs> I'm just saying. So in any event, um, so why hood? Listen, we, I know that this is, this is a rough time for all of us, but we are a full service salon. And if you were here right now, if you were, you know, one of our students right now, and, and as a full service salon, I would say to all of you, um, you know, it's awful what's happening to all of us. And, you know, if you think that your professors and your teachers don't miss you, you are so wrong because we do. It's so weird to see you this way. Um, you know, because I'm used to doing some fist bumps. I teach my students some. Um, I teach my students some of my new dance moves. Um, I did. I did win a Dougie off um, for a student for a grade. We did a Dougie off. Of course, I won. Um, so, but we do, we do have some good times and we have some serious times too, of course, but um, I, I want to caution all of you. I'm going to open this up to question and answers, but I want to caution all of you at this time in your life to remember that this is temporary, to remember that the only thing constant is change, okay? And, you know, there's a big word lately and it's called, or a concept called self-care. You have got to take care of yourself right now. If you feel lonely, you don't have anybody to talk to, I'm going to give you my email address and you're going to email me and we'll get online and talk. Talk, reach out to your friends, reach out to your parents, reach out to your teachers. We miss you. Um, you know, uh, some of the things that you could do to read a book, first off, get off social media. Professor Bean does not like social media. I'm just saying. Get off social media, get off, um, yeah, hey, where are all those people posting? Oh yeah, look at me, they're doing their selfies and oh, here I am in the, you know, in the uh, St. Virgin Islands and all this stuff. Where are they? You know where they are. They're in Puerto Backyarda, just like me, okay? So don't worry about the fear of missing out. I want you to consider, instead of FOMO, I see you laughing at my jokes, Latarsha, I want you in my classes. <laughs> 
instead of you, <laughs> instead of you worrying about um, the FOMO and the fear of missing out, I want you to start thinking about JOMO, the joy of missing out. You know, those people post those selfies and that's not the first selfie they took. You know, it's the 70, 72 one that they've taken like this and then duck lips. Give me a break. All right. So I want you to take care of yourself right now. I want you to read, Luke, do not yawn during my class. Please. I want you guys to read. If, if, if you want to use this time to, be, Latarsha, don't laugh at him yawning, please. Um, if you want to, um, to take care of yourself right now, read. I don't care what you read, just read. Read a book, go outside, ground yourself in nature. A lot of you probably are athletes. Go outside, um, you know, just get out in that fresh air and, and take care of yourself um, because, you know, we're going to be inside for a little while longer and I really want you to do that. Um, the last thing I will tell you, and I can answer specific questions about our program, um, but the last thing I wanted to tell you is that, you know, you're never alone at Hood College. Um, although sometimes when you're on campus, it seems like you have the whole campus to yourself, even when school is fully in session. It's like, wow, this whole beautiful kingdom belongs to me but you're never alone at Hood. Just like Hogwarts, what's Hogwarts? Somebody tell me what Hogwarts is. Katie, thank you for laughing at my jokes, I appreciate it. What's Hogwarts? Sienna, Sienna thank you. Rihanna, Rihanna what, what's Hogwarts? Max, what's Hogwarts? Harry Potter. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, right. I, I, so, and you know what, Hogwarts, what did, what did Dumbledore say? Oh my God, you guys are kidding me. Dumbledore, <laughs> I don't even know. Dumbledore said, help will always be given at Hogwarts. All you have to do is ask. And I mean that sincerely, you guys. That's exactly about Hood. That's exactly how Hood is. If you need help, all you have to do is ask. And I know that it seems like, you know, the professors, I don't want to bother the professor. That's why we're here. We're here so that we will be proud when we say, Noah Turner was one of my students and I helped him do this, or Luke, Luke Sisko was one of my students, or Sarah Harris was one of my students. That's the kind of thing that we need to say. So the last thing I will tell you is when looking at our major, we have two tracks. One is, we call it the law track, and the other is the criminal justice track. So there's different courses. There's about five courses you have to take for all, both of the tracks, and then you can kind of specialize into one or the other, but your degree would say um, a Bachelor of Arts in Law and Criminal Justice, okay? So I'm telling you, I know it for myself how prepared I was, and I know it from hearing from a lot of my students who are in law school how prepared they are. Um, one of my students sent me a text not too long ago, and he said, Professor Bean, um, check out the case we're reading in class. And he took a snapshot of, of his book. Well, the first thing I did was fuss at him because he's on his phone, he should be paying attention. And then the second thing I said was, um, it, was a, it was a case that we went over when he was a freshman. And he is a first year law student and they were going over a case that he's done and written a brief on um, you know, four years ago. So you will be prepared for law school. And same with being a police officer, I'm gonna get you some good internships. Um, and a lot of my students are police officers. Um, if you invite me to your graduation from, from the academy, I will go and I will cry. One of my students just invited me to his uh, graduation from, um, from law school at the University of Hawaii and I went, I couldn't miss it. Uh, when he was my freshman student, we did a mock trial. And I pulled him in aside and I said, you were born to be a trial attorney. And guess what he is? He's a trial attorney now. So um, that was probably one of the highlights of my life. All right. So, you know, lawyers can talk for 30, 40, 50 hours with little breaks. So with that said, um, I'd be happy to take some questions. Um, Professor Bean, how were you able to be sure amongst the other colleges in which you applied to that Hood was the place for you? I'm sorry, is that you, Kennedy? Yes. Okay, so um, I didn't hear the last part of your question. Say it one more time, please. How are you able to establish that Hood College was the place for you? Um, Kennedy, I, I, this is going to be really weird, but it's what I said before. The moment I walked onto the campus, 
and I was just mesmerized by the beauty of the campus. And I was like, I belong here. And then I went on a tour and I looked at the, you know, the, the residence halls and that sort of thing. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. Now, Kennedy, at the time, Hood was all women. And I wanted to go to an all women's college. Um, and it was just so beautiful. It, it, I, I just can't even tell you, it was the beauty of the campus that drew me in. And I met with some professors, I met with the students, everybody seemed to be so um, happy and just, just happy to be there and everybody was really nice. And that's really what it is like at Hood. So, so Kennedy, that's, that's one of the main things that hooked me. And then at the time we didn't have a law and CJ major, we had a law and society, which was political science and sociology. And I knew that I, I've known that I wanted to be a lawyer since I was 12 years old. So I knew that's what I was gonna do. I just wanted to be around like-minded people. Um, and so I, I just knew it, I just knew it. Next question, anybody else? Sorry, I had to unmute my other identity. Um, we had a question, uh, I got a question that was more so, I know we have the moot court, but if I'm thinking more forensics, do we have a forensics lab? How do, how do you work with students that are interested in police officer, being a police officer, like a US Marshal? Oh yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna get that too, but um, Biz, did you see somebody asked a question about it? it? Sounds like it's just for law school, so I wanna address that, but I couldn't read the whole thing. So. Um, Ask me your question again, because there was two questions popping up at the same time for me. Yeah, it might have been that same one. Uh, yeah. It's basically, I'm, um, I'm interested in law enforcement, such as a police officer, U.S. Marshal. Are there yeah. forensic la labs, or is this more law school focused? It's definitely both. So I was talking a lot about the law school and the, and the law track, but we also have the criminal justice track. And remember, I was a career prosecutor. So I dealt with the criminal justice track and, you know, um, forensics and that sort of thing. Like right now, this semester, usually the spring semester, I teach a criminalistics course, which is called, um, which is forensic science. Now, I'm, it's not a lab course. It's more of a focus on um, the basics of forensics. So I'm not like, you know, I'm not doing DNA and, you know, electrophoresis and, you know, and, um, you know, we have some of that stuff in our um, biology department. If you real, if you know that you really want to get into forensics, okay, that is um, probably something best in biology and chemistry because that will make you competitive. Um, in terms of law enforcement and forensics, the class I teach, we the first thing we focus on is um, crime scene and what do you do when you come on a crime scene. And one of the things I do is I set up crime scenes and my students have to go process them. Um, and I hide stuff and they have to go find it. Um, we do, we're not supposed to do experiments because it's not a science course, but we just did an experiment about blood spatter. Now, it, I know you're thinking it's splatter, but it's called spatter. So we did in a controlled environment in teams, we were dropping fake blood. No, no students were hurt in this experiment, but we were dropping fake blood from different heights to see um, the diameter and how we can look at blood that is on a crime scene and analyze it in terms of, you know, the tail of the blood always shows the direction of, from which it came and the size and diameter and that sort of thing. So we did that. Um, we also do a little, um, I can't teach my students about fingerprinting if we're not learning how to lift fingerprints. So we just did the fingerprint um, a little section where my students literally had to lift a fingerprint and put it on a card. Um, and then I got a little concerned because one of my students said, hey, Professor Bean, can I have your fingerprint? And how do I put this on something else? So that concerned me a little. But in any event, um, so we do some of those forensic type things. Um, we do have a toxicology unit where we have a drug recognition expert come in and he talks about um, the testing, the field testing that officers do in the field, like to determine whether there's fentanyl present, which a lot of times they don't do because fentanyl can kill you even the amount as tiny as your fingernail could kill the whole room. Um, but they'll do like, he'll do like a little bit of marijuana and then we'll shake it up and you can see how it, you know, you field test it. We field test marijuana sometimes. So we do things like that. Um, and again, we have police officers in. Um, we just had to unfortunately cancel in my intro to criminal justice class, 
we generally go to the police academy um, and do shoot don't shoot scenarios that they do and then i always take them to the jail but of course in light of what just happened we we couldn't do the police academy um last time we were there they did the drug dog demonstration with us and then um and then we got to do shoot don't shoot and that's the actual it's almost like a video game kind of but what ha it's a little different um, there, the police have the option of using a taser, a handgun, and I think a rifle. And you, you kind of, you're in like a dark room, and they have a big screen and a scenario. And then, you know, as you walk up to the scenario, you're like, police. You know, it's interactive. So you say, the police, you know, open the door, and then, you know, you just never know what happens. Um, unfortunately, I got a little trigger happy and shot, shot a, a full room of like innocent bystanders, but I was scared. So yeah, so Professor Bean is not a police officer. So, um, so we do that. So you, you will always see police officers on campus um, working with our program. Uh, so it's, it's, we're definitely, we definitely look at law enforcement and law. Um, so both of them. What else? Any other questions? I, we're about out of time. I want to make okay. sure students can head over to Hood Hello. I put it in the chat. But everyone that attended today, thank you. There are some great questions that range anything from real estate law to um, just what's the grad rate, law school entrance. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to save this chat. I'm going to make sure that all the questions are answered. The recording of the session, as well as the answers to those questions, are going to be posted on the main page for this event, which is hood.edu slash ASD. And that's also the page you can head to now to choose one of the four Hood Hello sessions. Um, which is going to be an interactive way for you to meet some of your future classmates. So I want to thank Professor Bean immensely. Thank and we hope, we hope to see every one of you on campus this fall. Biz, Biz, can I just say something really quickly before Absolutely. we Absolutely. Listen, if any of you have specific questions and you're a little too shy to ask, um, please feel free to email me. It's Bean, B-E-A-N, like strings, lima, jelly. It's Bean, B-E-A-N-T. So Bean, because my real name is Teresa, do not call me Teresa, Bean T at hood.edu. If you have additional questions, I will answer them for you. If you are interested in law school, um, you, will go to the, you will go to law school. I've never had a student who wanted to go to law school that we didn't get them into law school. Um, you may not go to Harvard, but we'll get you somewhere. Um, and that's accredited, so we'll get you into law school. If you want to go to the police department, we'll get you into the police department, but there's certain things that we're going to have to do. So. Um, Take care, you all. I hope you make um, the, the best decision for you. We would surely love to see you here at Hood College. Stop Thank by you. and say hello. Yes. Right. Thanks, everybody. Head Bye on everybody. over to a Hood Hello session. Have a great day. Please. <laughs> Look, lawyer. Yeah, man, you've got it all. Yeah. Um, so this was recorded. I didn't start the recording until a few minutes in, but I'm going to post that and then I'm, I'm going to uh, be able to print out these questions and I'll just shoot them over to you. And if we can get those answered, then we can post them next week. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. I will. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.